and welcome back to Music for Gaming here on YouTube. It is great to have you all here. It is. It feels like it's been forever. It's only been a week, but man, it has felt like forever. But it is seriously great to be back. Um, yeah, wasn't able to stream on Tuesday because I was performing improv um, live, which was really cool. So that was. That was super fun and exciting. Omars, I remember you. Welcome back. Great to see you again. And uh, yeah, so yeah, it was. So yeah, so I missed, missed Tuesday because I was uh, on stage performing improv. So that was awesome. But it's great to be back here. Um, I'm going to try to record this, uh, you know, clips from this stream for a video. So that is going to be fun and awesome. So let's just jump over there. There it goes. And uh, do a intro for the video. And I'll, as I do that, I'll tell you all about what's going to be happening <laughs> on stream today. As soon as I get to the right place. All right. And welcome back to the Create Mod here on Music Free Gaming. It is awesome to have you here. And I am at the site of what is going to be a new workshop. That's right, I'm gonna set up a bunch of little ad hoc machines. I've got a uh, mechanical saw thing going on here. I'm gonna set up stuff for like, for mixer, press, um, washer and cooker and deploy all that good stuff. So lots of little things, but that is the plan. This'll make doing all of those little tiny jobs in create mod so much nicer so let's go ahead and get to it all right ah yes all the fun and the excitement so let's see i think we're gonna start over here so let's see do i have hmm oh wait so do i have kelp and it turns out i do but for uh, for mechanical belts, I just left them in the furnace. It happens. Also, I'm now stuck on the. There we go. I'd like to get off that. Thank you. Wonderful. Oh, are these all done? I don't know if I can pick all of these up, but I'm going to try anyway. Restock my furnaces. This is why I need a new um, a new furnace set up because this is annoying and I really do need a super smelter. So, <laughs> oh man. Also, ah, new sub, awesome. Thank you so much, Henry. You are awesome and amazing. All right, so. Let us uh, meander up here, and let's see what I can do about another machine. So, the way I want to do this, do I have more of the wood? I do. Cool. So, it's basically, it's going to be the belt, which is going to run. Speaking of running, let's just. Grab a couple of toolboxes. All right. I should maybe just slap these down in the middle. <laughs> there. All right. I need some of this. So, we're going to set up the uh, mechanical belt here. And, oh, I should probably record a quick clip of what I'm doing first. Okay. So... The first thing I'm going to work on, besides the mechanical saw, which is all done and awesome, is the deployer. Now, the reason I'm doing the, the deployer next, instead of something like a mixer or the press, is I'm getting tired of making andesite casing by hand, y'all. It is obnoxious and annoying, and I'm getting tired of it. So, I am going to re remember how this works. Okay. So the idea is I'm going to set up the belt here. I'm going to put a deployer 
pointing down at the center of this belt and with a chest or a barrel or something. So I have a nice consistent way of just slapping some stuff on stuff as I go by. And that's just going to be useful for lots of things. Obviously, andesite casings, uh, but also um, uh, sandpaper, right? Because you can use a deployer to use sandpaper and polish up all of that lovely uh, red crystally goodness that you use in uh, brass funnels and stuff. So this is going to be super useful. So let's see what I can do to make this work. All right. So let's see now. I guess it doesn't have to be up here, but it is. Um... I am going to need chests and you know, if I just keep shuffling my inventory around enough, I will eventually get what I need. All right. So that's going to go like that. Now let's grab some dirt just so I have something to target here because I think I need this to go here. Yeah, I think that makes sense. All right, this should be fabulous. <laughs> all sorts of fabulous. Now this is gonna be really nice once I get all of this in place. So let's see, so that's gonna go there. Oh, I'm gonna need, actually because it's a mechanical press, I think all I'm gonna need are andesite funnels. And what do I need to craft another one? Andesite alloy, which I have, and kelp, which I also have. Awesome. Let's just grab a bunch of those then. Cool. Okay. I mean, I could put them all away, but... All right, so... That was not how that was supposed to go. All right, so that's going to work out just peachy. The sun disappeared. <laughs> it's the end times. <laughs> Run for your lives. No, actually, I think there was just a uh, storm that's starting, but because I'm in a uh, savanna, it doesn't actually rain here. Um. Okay, so that's going to go there and there. And do I have... I do have some gearboxes. Awesome. Because I'm absolutely going to need those. All right. Cool. So this can come up. All right. So I've got the basics. This is a really simple machine because the deployers are really simple. But I do need to power this whole mess. And the good news is I have right over... Well, it's... Right over here, let's free cam over and make sure I'm at the right Y level. Uh, also, turn on the uh, mini HUD so I can see the Y level. So it looks like 65. Uh, but right over there, I have, well, uh, you saw it. I have spinning stuff. I have power right over here. So all I need to do is slap a... Uh, slap a gearbox in here and I can just latch onto some power and bring it this way. Now that is probably going to reverse my, uh, <laughs> my saw that I already have, but it's pretty, it's a pretty symmetrical design. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, other than the fact, uh, I just need to remember which way it's going. All right, cool. So this is going to come up, and what I'll need to do is get a gearbox to power here and to power up there, and this should be good to go. So let me go craft those up real quick and see if I can get this going. All right, now, what I don't have on me at the moment is all of the stuff I need. So this, I think, goes here, and... That goes there. Yep. Awesome. And I need a crafting table. 
so that I can craft up a couple of gearboxes. Sweet. So now, these actually are going to have to be vertical gearboxes. Cool. So step, slap one there. Boom. And one goes there. And that goes like that. <laughs> all right it is hooked up to power and this thing is really rocking that is awesome so let me see do i have a i have chest oh i've got a barrel awesome cool so let's just pop up here because i think i could just i don't know if i'm gonna stick a barrel on this or not i might have to stick a shoot on there yeah, I think I'm going to have to stick a chute on there. Okay, cool. Two barrels, not helpful. But. All right, so do I have uh, chutes? I do. Perfect. So we'll stick a chute there. And then, you know, this is up high enough. This could actually be a real pain in the neck. But that's okay. So now what I can do is I can take a stack of andesite alloy. All right. Let's clear this dirt out of the way. And which way is this going? It's going that way. So let's grab some stripped logs, which I think I've got some over here because I did a bunch of uh, log stripping when I built that just to make sure it all worked. So now we throw our stripped logs in there. Ooh, look at that thing go. And now we're getting all the andesite casing. Oh, that is awesome. Though, I am half tempted to bring that down lower, but I'm not going to. And the reason I'm not going to is I want to add a, um, a clutch. I'm going to just swing a clutch in here, which is going to allow me to stop this machine so it doesn't put any more stress on the system when it's uh, not running and not in use. Not that I need it because I have 900,000 stress units I can work with. So I'm, and this is only eating a thousand of them. So I could run 900 of these things and be probably okay. But still, it's nice to be able to turn the machine off for a number of reasons. So let me go get a clutch and a lever and get that all set up. All right, so how do I craft a clutch? <laughs> that, that's always the, the interesting question. Say clutching, but okay, casing, shaft, redstone dust. Okay. Um, nope, that's not what I needed. I need redstone dust. Okay. Cool. So let's craft up. Well, there's one. Oh, that's because all, that's all the casings I had on me. All right, cool. All right, so, oh, do I have a lever? Wow, I don't have a lever? Yeah, all sorts of not lever action happening here. Cool. All right, well, guess I'm gonna have to craft up a lever. All right, so let's get the clutch. And the clutch is going to go there. Perfect. And now, Let's, okay, really? Let's put that, oh. No, let's just put all that stuff away. All right, cool. Now let's grab ourselves some lovely, lovely wood. Oops. Axes. Axes work better than shovels when you're cutting down wood. All right, so cool. And let's go ahead and take those off because they're not doing anybody any good <sighs> yeah I suppose it would be nice to uh, do something else there I mean this is big enough I suppose yeah just burn the, burn the wood down that, that's it that's how this works JS <laughs> how you doing man what I could do, 
Hmm, that would be an interesting option. Um, I could actually set up three of these. Hmm. So what I was thinking of doing is I was thinking I would build myself a couple of sort of dedicated lines for uh, mechanical craft or for, not mechanical crafters for the precision instruments and for uh, rail because I, I plan on using uh, rail lines here pretty soon but that's a that's an interesting possibility but you want to start your work tower or just work on Python ah well given that you have to do it on the iPad um, I would say well edge you're writing Python so I would say do that tower but I also don't like hardware so that's a that is a hard choice I do not envy you the choices you must make all right up we go yep I need to make this elevator faster all right cool so let's see now I need to craft up a lever Lever, my old friend. Okay. Oh, boom. Perfect. I was thinking I was going to need some redstone, but... No, I am all set there. What did I do over here? Did I put some... Oh, I just put some spruce back there. Awesome. Well, I have some spruce. All right, all right, all right. So we'll just run some spruce right along here. And probably, do I still have an andesite casing? Yes, I have lots of andesite casings. I have them right here. <laughs> that's not how that's supposed to work at all. Boink. Okay. You have to, you can use VS Code, but yeah. Yeah, well, I... I don't mind reading books on tablets or just, you know, general web browsing. If I have to do actual work, I'd rather sit down at a desktop of some sort or other. Okay, so I think this is not too bad. It would be nice if that barrel were lower, but I think I'm okay. Hmm. Man, I am still debating. Still debating whether or not I want to. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Yeah. Fiddlesticks. I am going to do it. All right. So that's going to go that way. You know what? Oh, that's going to be a pain. Okay, maybe I can do it this way. So let's take that out. I'm going to have to craft up another one because I only had two. That's one thing to remote into the system and <laughs> do a couple commands. Yeah, yeah. I've I've done that on my phone on occasion, and that's an interesting exercise in pain and suffering. <clears throat> okay. No, this will work. This will solve my ad hoc problems i think so all right i think i've got a finger in here what do i need for a deployer deployer is electron tube casing and finger all right well i've got the electron tubes back upstairs yeah this is gonna work out fine Yeah, so it's just going to be a matter of rigging these things up so that they all go the same way. So it's not that way. That one. Cool. I've got the casing. I've got the finger. All right. Deployer. Hello, deployer. So now making these all run is going to be a special breed of fun. 
That's not how that's supposed to go. Could you please point the... Okay. So do you know the way to San Jose? All right, so that's going to go that way. So if I do something... So that's going up that way. It's turned. All right. So let's get... Hello. A couple of these. So I think I can do it this way. Yeah, I can do it this way. This should work out just fine. Oh, come on. All right, I caved. I decided to put in three deployers here, and I think I'm going to power them up with these happy, happy gears back here. So I should be able to flip this on. Yep, fingers are all going. That is awesome. So now, actually, it would be... A fun test to do would be to maybe grab a uh, gold sheet and just see if I can build a precision thing. But I suppose I should put the storage in place first. So <laughs> let's let's get some stuff for a test. This could be fun. All right. So I need to put stuff away. Everything goes away. And oh, actually, it would be really nice to. I need those. Um, I'm going to need a singular andesite casing just for some decorative nonsense. Um, I've got barrels. Okay. Yeah, see, if I take the andesite casing here and here, it, it just looks a little nicer. Yeah, so it just looks a little bit nicer that, that way. All right, so now let's hop up here. We'll, th we'll throw those on and then throw some barrels there. Now, what I'm going to need to do to test this, okay, is I need a, those are brass. I need gold, right? Because who doesn't need gold, right? Yep, yep. It's it's annoying when you're trying to do something and you've got a small screen to work with. Okay. Maybe I'll smash a couple just for grins and giggles. Now I do need... Okay. Actually, I have... I have lots of shafts. I'm going to need some iron. All right. So let's go ahead and craft up a couple of these. You know what I think I should do is throw a couple of barrels in the floor. Just at the... For some random storage. Because I have a feeling I'm going to want... Want to just stash some stuff. Yeah, and you push some data files up. Yeah, well, that can be that could be a hassle, especially on a, an Apple device. I have never had good luck working with Apple on, well, just about anything, really. That may say more about me than it does about Apple, but... Oh. All right. Cool. So, the plan is... Let's craft up, um, oh, I need those. Okay, so let's craft up a zillion cogwheels and some large cogwheels. Okay, so the way this is gonna work is I should be able to put um, three, four, five, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? In there. And then this one, this one takes the large cogwheels. So all ten of those go in there. 
And then I'm going to need um, 10 iron nuggets, which go there. And let's throw these sheets here. Now, if I turn this sucker on, boom. Now we've got a couple of those. Now this is still a little bit annoying, but it still goes really fast. It's a lot faster than all the hopper juggling I was doing earlier, right? So we just pop those in. I think I need to do one more. Boom, there we go. We've got our couple of precision mechanisms. I can take all of those out, turn the machine off, and we are golden. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. Nice. Nice. Well, I'm I'm fairly pleased here with the uh, result of this. Cool. Let's throw some nuggets in there. All right. So I'm going to need... I'm going to need some other stuff just to make this look better, but... Should be okay. Cool part, you have to dump them. Oh yeah, just the Git repo. Yeah, well, it gets easy enough to work with. As long as you're not doing anything really complicated. Most of my infrastructure runs through Git these days. All right. Oh, that was so nice. So nice. Oh, and the... Do I still have, actually, I don't know that I have any more. Um, I mean, I've got a little bit of andesite alloy, but I'm gonna need more of that. But that's okay, because now I've got a zillion andesite casings. So this is great. Oh, this is so great. All right. So what should I do next? The mixer or the press? Um, I think the press is going to be super easy. Let's, let's go ahead and do the press next. So I'm going to need that and that, and I need, I'm just coming back here. Got to be close enough to the toolbox for it to work. We had an old Node.js project. Okay. Cloud new source code. Right. No, it makes perfect sense. That's sort of the DevOps model when it comes down to it. Ooh, I need to actually craft a press. That would be, that would be helpful. Um, oops, uh, no, let's put that all away. Um, I've got some stuff in weird pl places. I really don't need that display link in my redstone box or um, the display boards or that stuff. Okay, anyway, what do I need to do to craft a press? Yeah, well that's the, the current, oh, block of iron, andesite casing, shaft, okay, cool. Uh, I don't have a block of iron on me, but that's easily remedied. Yeah, well, that's the typical DevOps model now, is that you push your code up to a Git repo. They, um, that's not where that goes. And then you've got a whole CI process that builds a VM or a container and does all of the testing and deployment and, oh, it's super amazing. Oh, hey, let's actually build the stupid thing, shall we? All right, mechanical press. Oh, hey, andesite casings, cool. Andesite casing, awesome. All right, so I just need one of those, perfect. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna build here is a mechanical press. So it's going to pop up here for this thing. I think the press goes, yeah, I think it goes one block above. Now this is actually going to end up working exactly the same as the 
uh, the deployer over there, except that I'm only going to have one press and not three of them. Uh, so, again, easy peasy. And this is going to make smashing a bunch of stuff really convenient. Like when I need to smash gold for precision mechanisms or other type of stuff, this is going to work out really well. So the good news is, again, I still have my power right here. And all of this being fed over from the power plant. So this is going to be awesome. And do I have a clutch? That is the next question. And the answer to that is might actually be no. So I guess I better go craft one of those things. All right, there it goes. Now it stopped. <laughs> Had a lot of fun in the Python course. Nice. Oh, you know what I should do? Um, I should redo this line here now that I think about it. So, what made this side really, really super easy is that I was I ran power right up along the back side of this thing. And uh I didn't do that over here. I, I left a space, which means I had to do a little bit of other goodness. But actually this might this might actually still be okay. Um Alright, this still might this might still be okay because I need to, when I get to the mixer, I'm going to have to put in some. No? No, actually, I should just move this forward and I'll have to adjust this one, but that's okay. That is just fine. So, also, let's go ahead and grab some redstone. So, I'm going to need a couple of clutches. I'm going to need. Yeah, those are clutches. Great. <laughs> and I'm going to need a few gearboxes. That will work. All right. Yeah, and I should... Yep, I'm just going to move all of this. It's just going to make a lot more sense if I do. It's going to be, it's going to be easier and all that good stuff, so... I'll put the dirt back. It'll be fine. No one will notice. Oh. Oh. Whoops. Yeah, that's going the wrong way. Um. Cool. Well, I'm about to have a bunch of acacia slabs. Which is fine. Oh, that's why I didn't want to do it there. Alright, the reason I didn't want to do it there is I was thinking I might have a uh, potential drop coming down this way. Alright, that's peachy. Alright, never mind, never mind. I made decisions. Okay, and that's going to be a problem over here if I want to do... Right, if I want to output from this going to have to come out down this way and then well, that's fine actually shoots can angle over so no this is going to be great yeah let's go ahead and do this let's do the thing all right so where's my gear hello gear you go there all right so we'll just uh I kind of wish I could pick this up without having to crouch, but that is just kind of how this goes. All right, so now I need... Okay. Less dirt. Okay, vertical gearbox is going to go... <clears throat> yeah, 
vertical gearbox is going to go over here. Oh. Right. Um, that's fine. I'll, I'll make this work somehow. All right, so where's the, my vertical gearbox? Uh, there it is. Awesome. Okay, really, get out of my way. All right, so it's going to go there. All right, so those I have... Because the idea is, and now this is going to come this way. Right, all the way down to... Stop that. Okay. All the way down there. Now... What I can do is I can come up... Yeah, okay, this will... This will make sense. Um, sure it will. This, this, this all makes sense. Trust me, I'm a professional. That's... Um, okay. So we'll take those out. Now, let's take a lot of dirt out of my inventory. Okay. Vertical gearbox. It's going to go there. So that'll get the first thing spinning. And now I'll put those gears back. Just like so. With the shafts that go that way. And... Okay, there's the clutch. Got it! Clutch goes there. That goes that way. And the, nothing is moving because the clutch is off. Or more to the point, it's powered. So I guess maybe that's on. I'll let you decide. Is that on or off? But it's definitely doing stuff. Or stopping stuff from happening. That's a, a thing too. All right. Okay, so now... Let's just run a little dirt this way. Now, I'm about to uh, break that again, so I don't... I should move those planks out of that chest before things start spinning wildly. All right. Um, I need... Speaking of chests, there we go. Oh, yeah, look at all that nonsense. Um... Speaking of nonsense, I have lots of it. Holy moly on toast. All right. I don't know if uh, toast and moly is actually delicious or not. I uh, don't know, but. All right, so that's now going that way. Cool. And because I am, darn it, out of dirt. I don't actually want dirt back here, but it's convenient until I get back here with some actual flooring. Um, we'll just uh, add a little andesite casing. Clean that up so it looks nicer. Oh, I did. I did andesite. Or not andesite. I did acacia there. All right. I'm going to just come over here and make this pretty real quick. Okay, so go ahead and case all of that. Um, yeah, because this, this is all... This should all be acacia. Actually, that can be spruce. That, that might be okay. The problem is with the... Uh, hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's take this out, too. So the spruce there is kind of... I guess it's not bad. Um, oh, I did do spruce down there. Okay, cool. We got this. 
yeah, so the spruce does sort of match the casings, right? Okay, which does make this look, part of that look a little funkiness, but hey, it's all right. Okay, now back to the problem at hand, this guy. All right, so he now needs power. So we're going to uh, meander down here. I need two vertical gears and you know what? Uh, can I put those away? Awesome. All right, two vertical gear boxes. Sweet, now these are gonna come in right here. Now, probably what I should do and what I will do is um, ooh, uh, add a vertical gear box right there. Nope, that's not where that goes. Uh, probably what I should do is then put all the gearing in place so that everything goes in the same direction. Because I am a speaker of the English language, everything should go from right to left and not left to right, like that's doing. Uh, but that is okay. Um, I didn't put a... All right, so we're going to put a lever there. I did not put a clutch on this. There we go. Cool. So now let's get the uh, hand dandy vertical gearbox. Wonderful. And that's going to go right there. Connect it with a shaft. Cover it with a casing. And then... Yep, should just be able to uh, encase all of that. Wonderful. All right. The project was to write a Python program that will read all these spreadsheets. Oh, yeah, okay. Report the data into a database. That could be fun. Ooh. Simultaneous iron golem spawning there in the background. All right, so what do I need to smash? Oh, <coughs> yeah, so let's test this with some brass because I do need, I'm gonna need a little bit of, uh, I'm gonna need a few brass sheets, I think is what this is going to turn into. Lots and lots of brass sheets. Okay. We'll do 32 of them because, you know, sure. And since I'm right over here by my, my, uh, create stash, which I might actually be able to move upstairs if I wanted to now that I've got a, a workshop, but throw those in there. All right. All right, yeah, so I'm going to have to definitely reverse the gears on on this one. This is now going the right way, and it's going to go the wrong way once I reverse it, but it's okay. I'll worry about that in a little bit. All right, so, but this guy's first. Do I have, I do have a gearbox. Sweet. Let's, let's actually just get that in place now, because... I know this one is backwards, so gearbox, that reverses that. Sweet. So now that's going right to left. Okay. Actually, let's um, take all of that out. Put the wood in place. Cool. All right, so I've got this sucker wired up, and so now I've got some brass ingots that I'm gonna need to smash, so. Uh, it turns out they're just gonna sit there in the chest until I put some funnels on things, so. 
There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that go. Oh, that is awesome. And then I've got a lever right here. I could stop it at any time, but we'll let that finish. And that's just going to smash out 32 sheets like it's nothing. Oh, that is beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love having power. <laughs> and for those of you wondering, why is this so fast? I decided to rig a uh, speed controller down here and just cranked this sucker up to the max. Crank this up to 256 so that everything feeding my workshop over here is at full speed. Now, I may not want that for some other things, and I could shift that down as I need to, but, oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. So, get a little uh, decor in place here, and uh, I guess start on the mixer. And that one's going to be a little bit different, but I think we can make this work. All right, so now I don't have, um, I don't have what I want to cover the chests. I'm going to need some stairs of some sort, and <clears throat> I might even bring it forward a little bit. I'm not entirely sure how I want to deal with that, but that's fine. It's fine. It's, uh, it's there, it works, and it's wonderful. So now, the mixer's going to be the same way, but actually, no. So there are a couple of differences with the mixer. Let, let me, let's head downstairs and so, so I can talk about those uh, mixer differences here. And I don't mean the now defunct streaming platform, which was oh so cool uh, that I was on for way too long. <clears throat> all right, so I'm down here by my iron farm with all of my older gear here. In fact, I could probably collect up a lot of this stuff, but this is how your the mixer works, right? You don't throw stuff into the mixer, you throw it into a basin. The basin then can feed out onto a uh, a belt or whatever else you got going on. But the other important thing here to see is this blaze burner. Now, most mixing recipes, they don't care. You can throw in whatever you want to in here, right? And it will just mix it up and throw the mixed stuff down into the thing. But let's uh let's grab a little bit of this zinc and this uh oops that's brass and get some zinc and a little bit of copper. Here we go. So we'll grab 16 copper ingots. Now I can throw these in here, right? And they'll get fed down into you can see them being fed into the basin. Now, the zinc is going in. The recipe for brass is zinc and copper. But it doesn't work, right? You can see nothing's happening. And that's because you have to turn on the blaze burner. Okay, so once this thing is cooking, then it's going to start spitting out brass ingots. Okay. So when I build this, build a mixing setup upstairs, what I'm going to need to do is add a blaze burner so that I can um, turn it on on those times when I need to mix up something that requires heat, like brass. All right. So with all of this combined, that's going to make this a little bit different build. All right, yep, got a little extra brass, which is nice. All right, so let's go ahead and take the mixer and the basin. 
I'll pick up a blaze burner in a little bit, but let's just figure out where all of this is going to go, right? Because the blaze burner is going to have to go under it. It's going to have to be super handy, so... All right, and and it'll it'll all make sense, I think, eventually. <laughs> oh, yep, a rotational speed control on the top of this thing that make that go probably twice as fast would be fabulous. All right, so to get this to do what I want it to do, I'm gonna need. All right, let's 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 start with the chest, okay? Now, what I'd prefer to do is set this up so it looks a little bit like the others, right? Obviously, there's a little bit of variation depending on what they need, but they all sort of look the same way. I've got a couple of, I've got a double chest up here with a thing. Now, what I can do is take a basin. I think I could put that here. Now, if I put this here like this, it's going to take this sign out. And, oh, I'm going to need some mechanical belts. All right, grab a belt. Okay, so that's not going to work because the basin actually needs to be up higher, right? So if I were to take the basin, okay, and put it there, you see it's got that little spewy deal, right? So the basin has to be up higher than whatever it's feeding to, okay? Which is fine, absolutely fine, deal with that. Um, but it does, uh, but it does mean that I'm going to have to move this chest. Okay, and that's fine. I can do that. Uh, hmm. It's fine. I'll just drop things. It's cool. The other thing about the... Uh, The other thing about the mixer is it can take things in larger lots than uh, what the, the other things can do. So something to uh, something to work with. Um, there, I need a free hand so I can pick this stuff up off the... I'm just going to drop all the things down here. Seems legit. All right. Now, let's make sure I know what I'm doing. So I would like the shutoff to be in roughly the same place. So let's lever. I would kind of like to be able to put that there. which is okay. All right, I'm gonna need significantly more gears than I've got. All right, um, what do I have way too much of right now? Really don't need the stone or the door. <laughs> I don't know why I'm carrying a door around with me, but apparently I am, <clears throat> so that's cool. All right, so, so I think if I put the chest up this way, okay, and let's throw a couple things in that chest. Now, grab some brass funnels. All right, so let's let's just see if those. Yeah, th those look like they fell. Yep, they did. Perfect. 
All right. Oh, and can I put... Okay, this is... That block is temp... Both of those blocks are temporary, actually. Though I only really need the one. That's going to go there. Okay. Okay, I think I caught it. All right, so now... Oh, that's... Wow, that's ugly looking. But I think it's going to work. And you know what? Let's, um... I'm going to go ahead and just shift that all the way over there. That's fine. Um, it's going to go there. All right. Actually, no. No, no, no. Let's take that out. I can bring this right up here. <laughs> no, this is... Okay, the switch is going to be off-center. That is going to bug probably at least three people. Hmm. Okay, come on. Let's check the... There it is. Got it. Got it! <laughs> I'm... I got it! You know... Sometimes I doubt myself, but that time I was able to reach it and I feel tall now. <sighs> okay. So. Let's see. Yeah, because I'd like to put this here. I suppose I still can. Oh, no. Yeah, this is going to be fine. Um. Okay, so let's make this a vertical gearbox. And so yeah, this is gonna be great. Okay, so that's gonna go up that way. Let's uh, just swing up here. Now, I need another gearbox. So let's grab the andesite casings so we can get a few more gearboxes. You know what? Gear. Give give me the gear. All right. Now, one of those is going to have to be vertical. Okay. So that it can run the belt. All right. Now, that is running backwards. Okay. Yeah. When none doesn't mean none. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a special breed. No, none means undefined, right? Is that Python's magic parlance? I don't know. I don't write enough Python to remember these things. All right, so now that's going the right direction. And now I'm going to need... Oh, none would be null. Yeah, that makes sense. Different definitions for the same concept. All right, so I had to throw a gearbox down there so that the belt would run the right way, but a little uh, a little uh, cog action. Oh, jeez, I'm out of shafts. Why am I out of shafts? Give Give me shafts. All right. Boom, and now that sucker is going to mix like mad. Sweet. So now all I would have to do is throw something in there. And then let's grab a... Where did I put all of my chests? There we go. All right. Throw the chests in there. Now, I'm using um, brass funnels here instead of the... Uh, instead of the andesite ones, because mixers work on larger batches. So they'll spit out batches of things rather than one at a time. So we'll get lots of stuff coming down this way, which is fine with me. Uh, so perfect. Now, in order to get this thing to stop, I still need to do the same clutch action I did before. 
right? The clutch still goes there. Now, until I have actual floor, <laughs> I need to get some, some more oak, but until I get some actual oak flooring going in, I'll just run, there we go. So you just run a little redstone back behind there. Boom, on and off. Sweet, now is this going the right direction now? It is not. So what I need to do is get down below here and slap a gearbox in and that will get all of uh, this going. So hopefully, there we go. Everything's gonna end up going in the same direction, which is gonna be a lot less confusing for me. <laughs> and I am easily confused. So the less confusion I have in my life, the better. Oh, yeah. Null, not equal null. Yep. Yep. Python or their magic parlance. Okay. Cool. So what do I have that I need to mix? Um, ooh. Something I wanted to test. This is... This where, no, this is not where I want to be. That's okay. It's all right. I'll just meander over here. So, what I want to, I actually want to test something here. So let's grab some cobble and a stack of diorite. Now, in theory, andesite is made with diorite and cobblestone. And I don't, and I think this is a shapeless recipe, so this is going to work great. This is one of the things that mixers are awesome for. All right, up and up and up and up we go. Uh, all right. Okay, so time to give this a test. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some diorite and some cobblestone in here and Let's give this, let's turn this thing on and see what happens. It's definitely stirring, and now it is spitting out andesite. Perfect. Perfect. So I'll let that run. I've got, I gave it a stack of each. So I what I should end up with is two stacks of andesite over here, which is awesome because I, I always need andesite. Sweet. I think that's the first time I've ever actually used that crafting recipe. I mean, who crafts andesite? Nobody. But at least, at least it works and I have a good use for diorite. So, you know, that's a win. All right. So let's get out of this. And do I still have casings on me? I do. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and in case all of this goodness. Oh, perfect. Oh, that is so nice. Okay. Now I need, oh, do I have any more spruce logs? I might have, I don't. Okay. Or actually I need spruce planks, not spruce logs, but that is okay. I can get spruce planks in a hurry. So my tree farm has gone over to spruce at the moment. I needed spruce. What can I say? It happens. <laughs> oh, I have plans for a tree farm. Actually, I have plans for uh, lots of farms. I just have to get get them all in place to get all these imported to the database oh yeah do some data analysis oh, that could be fun okay now I need some spruce planks I was just going to throw them in the crafting table right you can just throw them in there and you get spruce planks but this is really cool so if you throw logs through the uh 
mixer here. Oh, they're going the wrong. Eh. All right. Well, if you throw, it, it strips them, but if you then strip them again, it gives you like more planks. But this is going the wrong way, so I'm gonna have to figure that out because that's annoying. All right, that's all right. I can figure this out. <sighs> all right, we have a lot of detail in the data, but you can see average and stuff. Okay, yeah. Well, that could be fun. All right, so I think what I need to do is, let's see, that needs to go that way, because it's, it, it's all going to depend on how that's rotating. Do I need to, wow, do I need to reverse, all right, let's just, let's take this out for a minute. This is going to go the wrong way, but let's hop up top and just see how this goes. See what states you driven the most? Yeah. Data is fun to look at, I have to admit. That is one of the reasons that I kind of liked YouTube initially over Twitch when I first started streaming. It's because I liked YouTube's analytics better. Okay, that is... So basically, it's wrong in every way it can be wrong. Cool. All right, so that's going to go there. That goes up that way, and this is backwards. Okay. Let's do it this way. Take the vertical gear box here. That's going to go that way. Now, I'm going to need to do some stuff here, but that might be okay. You know, I'm just going to try this. It may not work, but I'm going to give it a shot. So, all right, so now... Nothing is turning. Why is nothing turning? I mean, it's off, but I didn't put the clutch back in, so. Probably because, there we go. It's all facing the wrong way. All right. And, well, that's amusing. <laughs> All right, that, that's absolutely uh, not at all what I need. Okay. All right. So now, if I take the vertical gearbox that way, so that's going the wrong way, which is fine. I can deal with that. Okay, so now that is going in the correct di direction. Right, it's going this way. Cool. So now, if I were to, oh yeah, database schemas can be really helpful, yeah. Okay, so that's going the wrong way now. Cool. Um, you know, this is perhaps a little silly, but let's give this a shot. Okay, this one is not going the right way. Okay. Why did that go? Okay, so that's spinning right. All right, it's uh, definitely spinning in that direction. Why, whoa, why did it? All right, let's just take this one out for a minute. Oh, I see why it's spinning in the wrong direction. Okay, cool. 
No, no, this is going to make all sorts of sense. All right. Well, it's not that the gears mesh, it's that I was spinning the wrong side of the wheel. But I thought, no, no, oops. See, that doesn't make, oh, I know, uh, okay. Nope, 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 got it, got it. So you're half right, but what it is is the gearbox it rotates in opposite directions on on either side of the box. Okay, so this side is actually going a different way. So, right, so if I flip that, right, see that's gonna rotate it in the wrong direction. So, so what I need here, hmm. I had this. I had this working just peachy. I mean, I could go back to that, but it was... All right. Um... Because basically what I would need is... Huh. All right, let's let's see if I can figure out why I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah. So let's just let's just make sure that the uh, the saw blade is going the way I need it to go. Okay, so that's gonna go up that way. Another vertical gearbox up there. All right. And that is spinning backwards. Cool. So let's take a. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. I could just shift it right here. All right. So now the saw is spinning. Is it spinning the right way. Um. Can't tell if it's spinning the right way or not. All right, cool. Well, let's, uh... no, I think it's spinning the wrong way. All right. Okay, so yeah, the, the saw is now spinning the right way. The gears are not. Yeah, the, yeah, what's coming off, so what's coming off the back of it is backwards from what's coming off the other side of it. So you know what, what I had working, this is annoying to have to go back to this, but what I had working was those and I, I really don't want to have to do this, but oops, no. Uh, vertical gearbox. Here we go. Okay, and now a vertical gearbox, right? Nope. Close. Very, very close, but there we go. There, it's doing stuff. There we go. Now it's going in the right direction. Okay. I got it. Jeez. Not the way I wanted to do it, but... I mean, it works. It's just, again, not the way I wanted to do it. All right. All right, I thought I had a full st uh, stack, but maybe I didn't. Okay. <clears throat> Whew, 
okay. I got the machine sorted out. So now I can throw the strip logs in there. And look how fast I'm getting planks out of this thing. I threw in 63 spruce, strip spruce logs. And I'm getting three stacks, right? So it'd be four stacks basically for one stack of logs. But I think what I end up getting is basically, um, I think I get a stat, I think it's six instead of four. Yeah, and said so it wasn't a full stack. So yeah, that's great. Okay. So yeah, so now I have plenty of spruce planks to uh, <laughs> finish out whatever else I need to do on this project. Cool. Cool beans. I guess I can turn that off. Oh, you know what would help if I were to turn this off? Would be to uh, put the clutch back in. Okay, right. And that is not quite as easy as it could be. But uh, it's not particularly difficult either. Okay, so that goes in there. Come back up this way. And now, there it goes. Now it's off. Sweet. Oh, I should also... Do I have... Yes, I have a plenty of acacia planks. Cool. I should uh, plank up back here. Oh, right, and I was using spruce, which I now have lots of spruce. Just to fill in back behind. So I guess it doesn't uh, blend that much, I guess, but. All right, cool. And said I need to figure out what to do with the, the boxes and things, but that's okay. Cool, so I can turn the mixer off. Is this guy going the right way? Yep. And this guy's going the right way. Yes. <clears throat> nice. So this is, uh, it's not bad. Got four little working uh, bits of machinery here. Now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to maybe uh, kick back and throw some windows in there. One of the things, so see, sneak peek into my uh, wee little mind here. One of the things I'd like to do is maybe put a uh, smart shoot connected to each of the output chests that would then drop down to um, someplace where I could feed it then back into some central storage. So say, for example, I just ran all of that wood. Well, I don't necessarily need all those planks right now. I could hit a switch here and flush all of that down into um, something cool. Right, into some central storage somewhere. So that's sort of sort of what I'm thinking, right? It's not ideal, but I think that might might be a reasonable approach to it. Okay, so the next thing right, I was going to do a thing to build this stuff. What do I need actually just while I'm thinking about it for rail? Um no. Um, hang on, that creates, so if I want to craft up, okay, that's a controller rail, that's not what I'm looking, ah, there we go, train tracks, oh, okay, it's deployers and a press, okay, so you take a slab, feed it some iron and a press, and you're good to go, okay. Cool. Well, that, I guess, is a thing I can do. Um, yeah, that would fit nicely right here so that I could craft up some... Uh, yeah, craft up some train tracks because I do want to use trains to start 
to move some stuff from all over the place, really. Like, move from my big pipeline over there. Um, I said feed into centralized storage from here. Um, right, any number of, of options. Now, let's see, how confused do I want to get? Right, so do I still have the signs? I'm going to... I'm just going to put a train track note here. Okay. So here's where things get really messed up is I want to build, I want to build a thing to do washing and smelting and, and washing the way washing works. I've got a temporary setup over here. Uh, which I used for the concrete, is basically take a fan, blow it through water, lava, a campfire, soul, uh, a soul campfire, something like that. And then whatever ends up over here gets converted if it's supposed to, right? So if I were to throw gravel here, what gets washed out of it is, uh, I don't know, flint and probably something else. Um, if this were lava and I threw an ore here, it would smelt the ore, right? That type of thing. So that's something I'm kind of uh, thinking about. Let's go ahead and just... Uh, wow. Wow. Yep, that's, uh, okay. Okay, we'll just encase that. That'll look at least a little bit better. And I suppose I could even pull some dirt over it so it's like, okay, that's buried. And Cool, so now, I think... Hmm. Yeah, I Right, so trying to deal with the the washing. So there are a couple of ways I can do this. The more um the more fans you have blowing on something, the faster this goes. So one of the things I want to do here is let's you can't see it, but I'm looking up the encased fan because I want to see um, kind of want to see what I can do here for, for what I need to do for speed. So kind of what I'm thinking is if I'm <sighs> Oh, that's a thought. Um, so if I'm dropping 16 items at a time, it will cook in seven and a half seconds. If I do a whole stack, it's in 30 seconds, um, which is, yeah, seven and a half times four. So, okay. But if I do it in... in 16s, it will always drop at the same speed. Now, if I have multiple fans, that cuts that time down. Well, divide by the number of fans. So if I have two fans, instead of seven and a half seconds, it's, uh, what is that, three and a quarter? Or if I have three fans on it, it's, I'm going to full stack, would take 10 seconds. So it'd be like, um, uh, so seven and a half divided by three is two and some. 2.6 repeating, I think, or I don't know. Two and a third, maybe. I don't know, something like that. It's it's a number. Oh, hey, it's morning. Eh, okay. So the question is, it's coming across in three seconds now. You see how fast this thing is going, right? 
and that is faster than three seconds. Seven divided by two is three and a half. Yeah. Well, I was thinking seven and a half divided by three. Right. Okay, let's try this. You may want to be sure you're on headphones or something. Hey, Google, what's 7.5 divided by 3? Okay, yeah, it's 2.5. Cool. Yeah, so 7.5 divided by 3 is... Um, Cool. So, um, so 2.5 seconds and that takes longer than two and a half seconds. Now I could slow that down, right? If I cut this thing in half, maybe I don't know now that I think about it, <laughs> I really don't know. I don't think it's going to be fast enough. I'd almost have to put four fans on it. And I think encased fans block each other. So if I had a second encased fan, let's see, do I still have some over here? I, I know I'm fairly certain I've got some down in the basement. Okay. Quit clicking on that with stuff in your hand. Tools are one thing, blocks, not so much. So two and a half seconds. Now, if I had three fans on it. Otherwise, it's not that. But let's see. So I'm going to need the propellers. Um, chain drives, diggers. I thought I had some fans. Maybe I took them upstairs. It's a possibility. It's a distinct possibility. There we go, encased fans. Cool. Um, awesome, so. Let's see, how would do I want to do this then? I'm sure it's going to be awesome in some way or other. Um, yeah, because one thing I want to see, and I think I've tested this before, but if I were to... Oh, do I have a... I don't. That's fine. I've got... Yeah, they they stop each other. Okay. All right, so how to deal with this? Um, all right, because two and a half seconds. If I if I could add a fourth fan, right? Because you could have potentially like five fans blowing on on an item at a time. You could potentially have six, but the way to make that work is really awkward. So, uh, but four fans washes that sucker in a second and a half, which is kind of nice. So, Yeah, if I were to throw something on here, because this is still running, right? That's faster than a second and a half. Um, wow. Okay. Um, which, you know, it said I can actually, I can slow that down. I've got the materials. I can craft another rotational speed controller so that it only goes at the speed I want it to go. All right. So um, let's see now. How do I want this to work? Let's, 
let's start with the shaft. All right, and this one actually might make it a little bit longer. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that'll give me a little bit more room. Um, I'm gonna have to drop stuff on it because what I need to do here, right, is I would need an encased fan, but probably actually back here. So I would need a fan blowing this way through water or whatever. I actually have some ideas about this. Um, okay, so that would be a change. If I want a fan going this way, Okay, but that's, so that's two, and two fans is, um, what was it? If I were to, to drop 16 items, seven and a half divided by five, so that's three and a quarter, or 15 seconds if I'm dropping full stacks. Um, doesn't, I guess, uh, if I drop smaller stacks, it takes the same amount of time, right? If I take, if I drop four stacks of 16 or one stack of 64, it still takes the full 30 seconds to wash the full stack. But if I drop them in stacks of 16, I know it was, whether it's 16 or less, it will always take the, that same minimum time and I've got a little bit more uh, flexibility. So if I drop 16 of something and, and 16 of something else and 16 of something else, right? It's just that it works. So actually, I think I think I actually want this to be smaller. Because I want the item to drop here, sit here for the, uh, the time it takes to wash it, end up here, and then from here it gets sucked into the output. Okay, which means I would need an encased fan right there. Multiple loops for the win. Yeah, yeah. Make this a multiple chorus read. Uh, you're trying to read multiple files at once? Oh, that, that's when you start getting into parallelism. That's a special breed of fun. Doable, but, you know, fun. Okay, so the idea here, right, because I'd have to have Water source sits here. Let's just, water source sits there on top of that block, right? And where's my wrench? Hello, wrench. Okay, and then the other encased fan, right? Another one might sit here, oops. Please turn around. Okay, don't crouch and place the fan. There we go. Instead of having... Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, you can do it. You just have to... Uh, you start digging into parallelism, and that is uh, cool, but also hard. Just, it's hard to keep things locking nicely, but... Definitely doable. All right, I need a... Okay, I need a mechanical belt. So right now I'm just sort of prototyped here. So if something drops here, 
it's going to rotate through and I need it to sit in this square for if it's four things a second and a quarter okay which mean now I could do that in a couple of ways I can have this go really fast and just lock it but so it goes for a sec actually well this would be going so fast I don't think I could deal with it so probably just want to slow this thing down Oh, yes. SQL Lite is not going to handle that for you. If you were to pull out uh, SQL Server Express, that could do it. MySQL, that could do it too, depending on your locking, how you set up your table. But, yeah, all of that can can work just fine. Of course, the other option is rather than using a conveyor belt, what I could do is I could get a, um, no, let's go and put that away. Um, um, what's a depot cost? Alloy in a thing. Okay. I've got alloy and I've got a casing. Cool. See, the other thing I could do is have it sit on the depot and then have a, um, yeah, and just have a smart hopper down here that I could lock and unlock. Yeah, if I had a yeah, a couple of smart smart funnels. Oh yeah. Yeah, smart funnel off here and then probably I don't know if a smart funnel or a smart shoot, something like that, but Oh, yeah. Yeah, there are ways of getting around it. A little bit of a pain, but definitely ways of doing it. Yeah, but parallelism, it gets, definitely gets messy. I could even, I could, actually I'm going to need to scoot those two back a little bit, so I may move my washing machine over, but all right, so then if I were to set up a clock, do I have... All right, let's let's hop out here into. There is a. Um, there is a cool thing here in Create because there is a pulse extender. Right, I think there is. Yeah, pulse extender. And the pulse extender lengthens the signal, so I it, I basically. Flap for a sec. And then cool down. So I need the pulse extender or I need a pulse repeater. Instantly on and then stays on for... Okay. Right. That's what I need. Okay. Cool. So... That would work. So if I drop, because the cool things about funnels is they will only drop the certain number of items on until it's gone, and then they'll drop the next batch. Okay, cool. And so if I'm always dropping 16, then this will clear in a second and a quarter, or roughly speaking. Um, okay, I think I can make this work, and I think it can be very, very cool. 
Um, I also think I'm going to have to uh, kick it back that way just uh, quite a bit. So, all right. So this is going to have to come this way. And also I have a, uh, yeah, if David, well, even private data is a little funky when you start dealing with how it handles its memory model when it's, if you're dealing with something threaded. All right, so here's one thing I want to do is I want to get eight dispensers. So let's return everything to the thing. All right, and let's... Okay, I definitely have enough sticks. Um, I have enough string, but I may have to go pick it up from the mob farm. Yeah, that should be okay. So do I have sticks here? Doesn't look like it. I'm also going to need cobblestone which I do not have an abundance here, so that's fine. Oh, so much fun and excitement. No, seriously, this is cool. I like doing this stuff, man. This is one of those things that I like building. I like designing stuff, right? It's, it's cool. But I really like all this automation stuff. This is a blast. A voice recorder so you can record your ideas. I get that. All right, so. Let's go get some sticks. I could craft them. Heck, it's probably faster to craft them. Let's just craft them. Okay. That's way more sticks than I need. So let's craft up. I don't need 17 bows. What I do need is that many. Okay. Oh, and I need redstone. Ah, okay. That's just peachy. Um, gonna need those iron bars too. So, let's see. This work. Hey guys, I need your redstone. Um, I also need an inventory slot. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so. Let's see now. Um. I now need dispensers. Actually, let's set up with droppers first and then... Oh, dispensers are such a pain in the neck to uh, craft, but... Okay. There are ways of doing it, though, so that's... That's cool. All right, so up we go. So the way I want to do this, am I getting greedy doing four fans? Would it be better if I did uh, three. I suppose I could do four. All right. So I have a crazy idea. <laughs> so, which is why this is, uh, why I'm doing what I'm doing, but so here's kind of what I'm thinking. Two of the four ways of cooking things. Um, are basically the same. You take a fluid. It's either water or it's lava. 
okay? But otherwise, it's exactly the same. So, what I'm thinking is I could build a machine where I could switch between the two, right? So, if it's uh, water, then I can wash stuff, and if it's lava, then I can cook it, and I could just switch back and forth as needed, right? So, that would be awesome. Now, power is running through there. So I could. Yeah, because I've got like a, with as fast as this is going, it doesn't speed it up, but it does extend the range. So I could put a fan up fairly high. All right, so yeah, let's grab that depot and my fans and all the other fun stuff. Depot, oh, also, Let's grab some deep slate because that's going to look cooler than cobblestone. And I have to use cobblestone to craft redstone things, and I can't do that with deep slate. So, kind of wish that I could, but. All right, I'm going to grab some regular deep slate and I'm gonna grab some tiled too, I suppose. It would be nice to change that to just a button, but. Down there, I could do that. Up here, I can't because I don't really have a good place to. No, actually, I could. I would just have to use a, yeah, link. Okay, I could do it. I could totally do it. All right. So, to do this. Um, I want to put the fan. Let's see. So I'm kind of thinking I'd put that there and I would take one fan and I would put it, oops, nope. Take one fan and I would put it there. So the idea is that it's going to blow this way and I can bring power up and connect right to the, right to the fan that way, okay? Okay, so the next thing I need is the depot. Well, actually, I'm going to need a fence and then the depot. Okay. Did I actually go get the depot? Might have left it in the chest. Yep, totally. Absolutely did. All right, so now, all right, so now the idea here is that's going to go there. This all has to come out because if I'm going to be playing with lava, uh, having wood nearby is not going to be super helpful for anybody involved. Okay, it's not that one. All right, so dispenser and dispenser and then same thing put that there now then what I want to do is let's uh, grab a little dirt put a fence there put a let's see how do I want to do this Okay, so I need to actually dispense into the space above this. Right, so I'm going to put a dispenser here. And one here. Okay, and then, which is convenient because I want to then put a dispenser here. And here. All right, cool, and then I'll, oh, and the fan, <laughs> yes, the fan, the 
fan is going to go case fan this one's going to go right there okay and then i'm going to put a fan yep just sort of uh, spread this out just a touch right like that Okay, so this lovely attraction here is basically the beginnings of what I'm hoping is a variable uh, thing. <laughs> basically, a, a variable washing machine. So it can do water and it can do lava. Now, I'm going to have to do some fun redstone wiring to make all of this work, but... I think, I think I can, I think I can, right? That's the, that's the mantra of uh, creates. Plus, I think I'm going to want a little bit of, a little bit of glass here so I can see what's, uh, what's happening. But also, yeah, I'm going to, there's going to be lots of weirdness here that I'm going to have to figure out, but I think I've got an idea of how I'm going to start with this. The idea is I'm going to fill maybe these bottom ones with with uh, water, and then the and maybe that one I don't know, and then the top ones with lava, and then this other one with a lava bucket, and then it said hit a button, and it dispenses lava. For example, hit the button again, the lava goes away. Hit the other button, now I've got water, and Whatever I throw here will just get dispensed down and it's going to be cool, right? That's the, the idea. So, yeah, so this is the start. This may not work, but hey, if it works, awesome. And if not, it was a fun experiment. So I guess go experiment some more. Okay, so what I'm going to need is some glass and some other stuff to test with. All right, and redstone and all that other goodness. Oh, right, this one's going to need a... Uh, this one needs another dispenser, too. All right. There we go, because I want to have, okay, because I want to have four dispensers doing things, right? All right, so let's uh, make sure all of the path is taken care of. All right, so now I can see all of this stuff. This is gonna go here like that. Cool, so it looks like I could just run some redstone down around here, and that will get three. The top ones are gonna be a little bit of a, uh, an issue, but, but if I take some redstone here, right, Okay, then the, the trick is going to be getting the, the signal up to the other dispenser. And let's go ahead and do this, All right? Because those are going to go there, and those are going to go there. And now I'm going to just try something here so let's put okay so this got this one has a chest this one has acacia wood this one just also put the acacia wood in and i want to i want to try something here right so if i okay so that one dispensed that one dispensed this one did not 
perfect. That's how I want it to behave. Cool. Oh, it's nice when things work the way I expect them to. <laughs> oh, man. Very nice when it works the way I expect it to. All right. Cool. So that... I was a little bit worried that it would trigger when I didn't want to, but... But if I were to put... Um, I might have to put target blocks up here because if I put in, let's put in a chest, a chest and a chest, we should get, if this works the way I want it to, we've got one and not the others. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna need some target blocks, I think, to make that work. Because um, getting the redstone to point at the, the dispensers is honestly more of a challenge than it should be. Okay. Well, let's grab some, grab some hay bales and, hey, since I'm here, I'll just buy the redstone, maybe heal up my shovel a little bit. It is really nice to have mending tools again. I haven't perfected them yet. They don't have, uh, I don't have Unbreaking 3 as an enchantment available to me yet, but. Um, I've got Silk Touch and I have fortune three which is awesome but i don't have unbreaking also so that's a little bit annoying but it's okay all right so let's craft up some target blocks all right so basically, I hope this works. I might have to put a little redstone on top there. But now if I try this, the one, two, three, those, those three have chests and that one, let's, just put it. Okay, so these are all the top ones. Okay. Well, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. All right. Oh, and this one I probably should. Oh, since that's going over the top, I don't actually need the target block there. So that'll get powered. Trigger that. This one. Yeah, because if I put redstone there, it won't. It won't connect to that, so. Might have to put some redstone on top of that. So that one went. Those did not. I'm definitely missing something here. Um, I mean, if I, I could suppose I could put some redstone on top of that, but that seems like a, I don't feel like I should have to. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four. Yeah, that fired off everything.
Okay, but as I said, I don't think I should have to do it that way. <laughs> but, I mean, it works, just... Okay, so now the trick is to get signal now up to this dispenser without triggering that one. Hmm. Okay. You know what I could do? <laughs> this would be really silly. I am... That actually... Okay, so... Eh, all right. Come on, let's start recording. Okay, so I'm here playing with the redstone. I've got a working circuit. If I hit this button, it'll trigger four dispensers that I could then use to trigger water or lava or whatever, right? Awesome, but this redstone is a pain in the neck and I have to trigger all the, the top and the bottom and all that good stuff. What if instead of doing all of this nonsense, I come back here with some wireless links and I can just use wireless links to make that work? That actually would be really, really cool. <laughs> all right. I guess, um, I, I guess let's craft up a bunch and see if I can make that work. Okay, so I had some over here in the redstone chest, which I should just move all of this stuff over here. Okay, nope, those are display links. Again, there's no reason for those to be in the, in that chest. That's just where they ended up. Okay, so if I want to craft up, first off, what do, if, what do I need for a pulse extender? Brass sheets, some stone of some sort or other, and redstone. Okay. Brass sheets. Um, a smooth stone of some sort or other, probably, and a couple of redstone torches. Okay, I do not have, well, no, I do have, just not in my hot little hand. Because I am going to need a pulse extender. So while I'm here, let's do that. All right, now, if I want to craft a redstone link, brass casing and redstone torches. Okie dokie. So let's grab some brass casings and a bunch of redstone torches. And, oops, no, redstone links, there we go. Awesome. So now, I guess I can put those away. Um, I'm gonna need something. <laughs> I'm gonna need all sorts of something. Um, but, Let's just, I just want to try this out, okay? This is going to be a really simple test. All right. Okay, and I'll need to move this button. But, so I'm going to put, let's go and just put a hay bale in that one, that one. Okay, still had a chest in there from test and then this top one here all right so so if i were to put a redstone link on each of these top guys okay 
and then I don't know we'll pick one that one okay and for my frequency I'm just gonna use this is just a test so I'm just gonna use the target block these should all be on receive mode okay and then Okay, uh, set this to target. Oops, no. Okay, and this is on transmit. Cool, so now if I put a button on this guy, that's one, two, three. That guy, oh, because I put it on the wrong block. Cool. All right, let me sleep real quick and then Okay. All right. This. Oh, this is just going to work. It's just going to work. It's going to be simple. And. All right. So top one. Gets a hay bale. Hay bale. You get a hay bale. And you don't. You do. Let's, I'm going to go ahead and put a chest in all of these other dispensers. Now, this should not, <laughs> um, this should not fire. That's the idea. What I want to see is if I trigger this, do any chests get spit out? Okay. Because that would be bad all things considered and all right so now i have four hay bales and zero chests oh this is gonna be so much easier oh this is gonna be so much easier with the wireless redstone okie dokie well i guess we're gonna go with wireless redstone Okay, so, <laughs> obviously I'm going to want to change the frequency of that because that's just wrong, uh, but, uh, yeah, oh, sweetness, okay, so then what I need to do down here is, do I have a... Let's see, what's the difference between a smart shoot and a smart funnel? Other than the fact, that I think they just go straight down. And then, of course, you can stop them from doing stuff. Okay. Slowly working through how to process files. Yeah. Get that. All right, so what I would need here is actually, um, funnel would have to come into a thing. Boy, I have to move all of this up. Plus, okay, I'm actually would actually need a smart funnel as well. Brass funnel, smart shoot. Okay, because what I would need is a chest that goes right there with a funnel on it. Man, this is. This is awkward getting into this uh, thing here. Let's see if I, maybe I can, that's fine. I can just hop this way. All right, and wow. Okay, and then set this to 16. 
All right, so, so that's going to output things at in sets of 16, right? So if I throw this dirt there, There's 16, and there's, so there's my 16 and, okay. So there's 16 there, and, right, because I had four in my hand, so I got 20. Okay, yeah. Doesn't make sense. Uh, No, no, that's right, that's right, because I, I had, 36. Nope, that's good. The math checks out. So, while there's something here, that's not going to do anything. Okay, which is cool. Um, wow, this is... I don't like how this looks. I don't like how this looks at all. Okay, so I think what I'm going to have to do is just do a little bit of design work, but I think this is gonna be okay here. I just have to connect something to it, <laughs> right? Um, and I, I don't know what I'll connect, or how I'll connect it or whatever, but something will, will connect here. And then the idea is, and this is gonna be a little bit annoying, but I can take a smart shoot down here, which will just dump everything. But um, what I can then do is use a, I can build a clock with my redstone link that will uh, suck this through, right? Because if I were to throw something on here, Right, if I were to put this uh, dirt on there, it immediately gets sucked through, so. But if I were to lock it, uh, lever, I don't have a lever, it's okay. But if I were to lock this, um, then this, uh, then this whole thing would, are we locked? I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, you have some design work to do too. Yep. Yep. So, oops, well, that's not what I wanted to have happen. Okay, I'll have to empty those out. But, okay, yeah. Perfect. So, right, if that's lit up, then it won't just pull anything out from under the, from on this table. And so if I just set this, uh, right, that'll sit there until, and get washed until it turns off. All right, nice. So basically I just have to um, rig a, a clock. Okay, I think that sh shouldn't be Shouldn't be too hard. At least that's the theory. But uh, that is going to have to be it for today. I'm not going to do a video outro. I think I will finish this and make that the end of the video. So I'll do that off stream or uh, yeah, certainly off stream. I may do some tonight. I may do some tomorrow. Well, uh, I'll play with it. But that's going to be good for today. So let's go ahead and jump over to webcam ah because it has been it has been awesome today i'm so glad you were all here to uh to join me as i worked through my <laughs> my happy happy little workspace so i think this is gonna be this is gonna be okay all of the the fun and exciting uh stuff here so um Anything else? No, like all the socials, I should be streaming next week. Um, there will be no streams the week after Christmas. So I'm taking that week off. 
so there'll be no streams uh, but drop out let feel free to hang out in the discord the link the link the idea id is over there so check all that fun stuff out too and until next time be excellent to each other and this is music free gaming signing off